Thou still unravished bride of quietness, Thou foster child of silence and slow time, Sylvian historian, who cantest us express a flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme, what leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape, of deities or mortals, or of both, in Tanpi or the dales of Arcady, what men or gods are these? What maidens loath? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and timbrels? What wild ecstasy? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore, ye soft pipes, play on, not to the sensual ear, but more endeared, pipe to the spirit ditties of no tongue. Fair youth beneath the trees, thou canst not leave thy song, nor ever can those trees be bare. Bold lover, never, never canst thou kiss, though winning near to go, yet do not grieve, she cannot fade. Though thou hast not thy bliss, for ever wilt thy love, and she be fair. Ah, happy, happy boughs, that cannot shed your leaves, nor ever bid the spring adieu, and happy melodious, unwearied, forever piping songs, forever new. More happy love, more happy, happy love, forever warm and still to be enjoyed, forever panting, forever young, all breathing human passion far above that leaves a heart high sorrowed and cloyed, a burning forehead and a parching tongue. Who are these coming to the sacrifice? To what, green altar, O mysterious priest? Leadest thou that heifer lowing at the skies, And all her silken flanks with garlands dressed? What little town by river or seashore, Or mountain built with peaceful citadel, Is emptied of this folk, this pious morn? And little town, thy streets forevermore will silent be, And not a soul to tell why thou art desolate can ever return. O oh, attic shape, fair attitude, With breed of marble men and maidens overwrought, With forest branches and the trodden weed, Thou silent form, dost tease us out of thought as doth eternity when old age shall this generation waste thou shouldst remain in midst of other world and ours a friend to man to whom thou sayest beauty is truth truth beauty 